Since 1994, the structure of the economy hasn't changed that much. It was characterized by high unemployment, high poverty levels, predominantly informed by low growth rates. And these, to a large extent, are explained by a historical phenomenon of poor education, quality of education, and low levels of skills. Which means even if people cannot get themselves employed, they cannot self-employ. But the restructuring that took place since 1994 was also characterized by a, an economy which relied more on capital intensity rather than labor intensity. And what, what that has meant is that we've had what people have started labeling a growth program that has not generated jobs. We need to improve the quality of jobs for us to be able to change the balance between labor demand and labor supply. As we think about making our sectors more competitive, it's not only thinking about activities within the South African economy, it's also thinking about them being competitive globally. And part of them being competitive globally is not only with respect to the quality of products that we produce, it's also with respect to the pricing of those products. Labor costs are still uncompetitive. Costs, they are rising according to inflation, but productivity is not increasing. If we cannot temper wage growth, we need to do something about the productivity of labor. And that can only be achieved through tweaking what happens in the education space and also what happens in the skill space. If we invest in the right infrastructure, which is going to be private sector crowding in, contribute directly to the economy, absorb more labor into its process, and hopefully in the process generate more skills, we should be able to have or put a dent on the high level of unemployment that we're sitting with today, which is sitting at 26%. Institutional challenge becomes our biggest hurdle going forward. The way in which we govern our economy, the way in which we govern our state-owned enterprises, and the quality of delivery that we put out into the market is going to become our biggest challenge going forward.